It's a reluctant old gamer here um, with another uh, Heroes and Generals for you. This one is the one where I die um, in a uh, quarter ton truck, basically known as a Willy's Jeep by uh, most of us. Uh, kind of a nice vehicle, actually. Good four wheel drive, and it has a 50 cal machine gun mounted on a post. The downside is that if you, when you're operating the machine gun, you're also a sitting target for snipers and, and that. Uh, at the moment, I'm the driver. Uh, I've worked my way up through the game where I now have access to uh, some vehicles. And uh, although I like using the, the machine gun a lot, you don't get a lot of opportunity. Uh, and there I just got blown up with a Panzerfaust. Uh, you don't get a lot of opportunity to, uh, to score points with it. Um, you need really need to be in a nice clearing where you're a good distance away where the people don't see you maybe hiding in the bushes or something because um, there's a circle when you're firing the machine gun there's a circle that you've got to line up with it or you can hit the right mouse button and get a better um, way of aiming but by the time you do that the person's usually moved and there I just got shot again by a tank now the tanks in this game are really sneaky because they're really far away they got really they can reach across right across from one side of the game to the other and uh, so you don't see them all the time and if they're not moving you don't hear them so it does make it kind of um, kind of scary the trick I think is to stay in the bushes it makes it harder for them to see you um, you can drive through a lot of the bushes uh, there's only certain size trees that you hit them and um, so as long as they're smaller than a certain size, you're good to go. Got, by, got hit by the tank again. I'm telling you, he is sitting at a house across the stream, and you can't see him. Or at least you don't. You know, you're not looking for him. Um, if you carry people in your vehicle, you get extra points. Also, just there, you saw some red. I was uh, someone was shooting at us. There's uh, outside our spawning area. The enemy likes to hide. And generally, that's where snipers like to hide. But he didn't get a good shot at him. So now we're pulling up to... Uh, I just got hit by a, the equivalent of a German bazooka. But uh, we were pulling up to one of the main uh, events that you're trying to capture, one of the places you're trying to capture. And what I'm trying to do is get people to join me in the Jeep. If I could get people to join me in the Jeep, I get extra points for some of the badges. Um, it also helps with... Um, with being a team leader in that uh, uh, so okay yep, I just got hit by a, a guy with a just a rifle who's sitting on the sidelines now it's nighttime now these are not taken all from the same game I've, what I've done is uh, or what Jessie's actually done she's cut out a whole bunch of different um, yep, she's got killed by a tank again a whole bunch of different stories and pulled out the same thing so we can see the different ways you can die well, uh, driving the vehicle. Every once in a while, you get really lucky and you can run somebody over. That's kind of fun. Uh, unless, of course, it's one of your own guys. And that happens on occasion, too. Because sometimes uh, the people, are, uh, your guys are running, and you come up behind them, and they kind of veer to the right or the left. And the next thing you know, you've, uh, you've hit them. Now, the Jeep cannot drive through water, but it can drive through a shallow. So you can tell when there are shallows around because you can see uh, reeds growing in it so you could drive through that and there I just got shot by another uh, a 98 and, uh, another rifle bolt action rifle I'm also carrying a first aid kit in the uh, Jeep um, as you work your way up in levels you can add things to um, to your Jeep uh, you can add a first aid kit which means people will come and and uh, up just got shot again this time in the torso uh, with a first aid kit, people could come, and, and if they've only been half killed, uh, they can fix themselves up. As you work your way up, you'll re you know you can put in, uh, for example, extra ammo. So instead of a first aid kit, people can come and get extra bullets. The one I like to have, and what I have in the new Jeep, is I have um, extra Panzerfaust. So if you come across a tank, at least you've got something you can fight with. As it stands now, uh, I still just have the first aid kit in this particular one because it's one of the earlier ones. We've done about um, 50 or 60 uh, little videos that we've been taking the, these different clips from. And we're putting together a little database so that we can pull together, okay, we want to show you, oh, this got killed by a Panzerfaust again. We want to show you um, us getting uh, uh, 
shot or us coming out of an airplane or anything like that. Uh, here we are. There's that little circle I was telling you about with the machine gun. That's the thing you're going to use to aim at your target. It's not overly accurate, and when the machine gun fires, you have a tendency to move the gun around. If you hold down the right mouse button, you will get an actual iron sight to look through, and it will uh, double your accuracy. Um, one of the things we like to do when we pull into a place we want to take over, we usually try to fire a couple of rounds into the upstairs if you can't see anybody in the uh, foreground, because there's always somebody upstairs with a sniper rifle ready to peek around the corner. Um, the other thing, too, is that that particular house that we were attacking, there's a box of Panzerfaust in the parking lot. And so whether you've... No, here we go. There's the right mouse button. Now you can see that I was using a different uh, way of aiming. By doing it this way, I, you can line up the sight, and that's where the bullets are going to hit. And that gives you a lot more accuracy. But it's harder to move around. It, it uh, ruins your field of view. But at least it, uh, it gives you a pretty good chance of hitting the target. Now, I was shooting at the windows uh, upstairs to try to take out any uh, snipers that were up there. Now, there's two guys uh, to the left of the building, uh, except my buddy uh, got it first. Um, one of the other things you can do, too, is you can steal vehicles. You see, there's a, a German uh, equivalent of a Jeep to my right. And um, you can get out, you can actually take that vehicle and that. So we're, um, this time we're going to get extra points because we've got three of us who are in, the, in this particular Jeep. The more people you can have in your Jeep, the more uh, points you get for uh, the different badges. Now there's, there's like a thousand different badges in this game. So you get a badge for operating uh, machine guns, you get a badge for operating a, a, a rifle, a uh, uh, you get a badges for driving the Jeep. You get a badges for uh, carrying somebody in there. Uh, one of the things you want to look out for, too, when you pull up to these houses, there's always somebody on the roof. Or nine times out of ten, there's somebody on the roof. And I think that's it for this, uh, this episode. And we'll see you in the next video, I guess. Thanks a lot.